That's going to sit well with a lot of Americans this holiday season or any time of the year. Meantime, there's not a lot of holiday cheer on the campaign trail either this morning. Newt Gingrich is furious over negative ads paid for by Mitt Romney supporters. He calls it a smear campaign. Wyatt Andrews is in Manchester, New Hampshire with the latest on the Republican frontrunners. Wyatt, good morning. Chris, good morning. With most of the national polls now showing a dramatic 15-point drop for Newt Gingrich, he is upset. And the person he blames the most is Mitt Romney. Newt has more baggage than the airlines. What drew the most fire from Gingrich were ads made and funded not by Mitt Romney's campaign, but by a super PAC that supports Romney called Restore Our Future. And Newt is the only speaker in history to be reprimanded. Super PACs have brought a brand new element to this election because they're allowed to raise and spend unlimited amounts of money on an issue, provided they do not coordinate with a political campaign. Some of Romney's closest friends and former advisors are behind the Restore Our Future Super PAC, but Romney says there's no contact at all. Uh, it's illegal. <laughs> As you probably know, Super PACs have to be entirely separate from a campaign and a candidate. I'm not allowed to communicate with a Super PAC in any way. Gingrich was having none of it. We got to understand these are his people running his ads, doing his dirty work while he pretends to be above it. But Gingrich's fall into a tie with Romney nationwide cannot be explained by ads in Iowa. Republican voters themselves have driven the polls up and then down for five candidates, Bachman, Trump, Perry, Kane, and now Gingrich, as voters continue to shop for the best challenger to President Obama. Romney, meanwhile, who just benefited from $400,000 worth of super PAC ads, said he hoped they'd all be abolished. I think it's a disaster, by the way. Campaign finance law has made a, a mockery of our, of our political campaign season. We really ought to let campaigns raise the money they need and just get rid of these super PACs. Gingrich has challenged Romney to stop all negative advertising. Romney, who's here in New Hampshire campaigning and whose ads do not mention Newt Gingrich at all, has not responded. Chris? CBS's Wyatt Andrews in Manchester, New Hampshire for us this morning. Wyatt, thank you.